So today I will be doing something completely different from this channel. Today I will, I will be responding to a couple of comments by EDP445's fan base that they left on my last few videos and I'm going to go ahead and give a direct response to the more, how do you say, trigger comments. Let's go. Calm down fam, you ain't no angel. I mean, I never claimed to be one for one. I mean, I did some fucked up shit in my life. I'm, I ain't gonna front, but never did I come on here trying to threaten people, trying to whoop their ass out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden, I, I want to be a big tough guy because I'm in Bakersfield, California with a receding ass fucking hairline and shit. Like, come on now. Get the fuck out of here. So, yeah, I did call him out for his bullshit, but that doesn't mean I didn't do no fucked up shit in my time. I mean, come on now. We all did it. We all did some fucked up shit. LMFAO, fuck deck, laughing emoji. Oh yeah, because that just makes you so much better than EDP 445. Yo, oh yeah, I, I, I give you props for that. Bravo, bravo, bravo for that. That's, that's just amazing. That That is absolutely amazing. I, I have no words. I have no other words for that. I, that's just simply amazing. Your intro is absolutely ass, bro. I almost broke my fucking eardrums, you dumbass piece of shit. I am so sorry. I will definitely change the intro for you next time. I am very sorry. Can I get you a towel or a tissue or anything? I will definitely get that changed for you right away. Fuck out of here. Shut your pussy cowboy fan ass up. But her cowboy fan, that got what he deserved. I wish injury on your dumb ass. You try to sound tough, but you're the biggest wuss I've ever heard of. Pathetic ass nigga. I mean, I don't try to sound tough, my guy. It's just the way I come off sometimes, you know? Because at the end of the day, I'm not on here threatening people from Bakersfield, California, threatening to whoop somebody's ass or whoop a football player's ass. But when somebody in my city threatens to kick my ass, then that's why that's when I start acting all innocent and shit. And thank you so much for calling me tough because now you are officially invited to my cookout because I'm about to rip your ugly ass today, boy. Freaking nature, more like the freak of sucking dick head ass, boy, with your little ugly ass. I bet you the type of nigga to suck your daddy dick for money so that way he can go ahead and buy you the new PS5 for Christmas with your little ugly ass. Damn, I like this little channel you got going on. This the shit right here. I mean, you shit, you got little GTA videos going on. Damn, with no subs, have an ass. Boy, if you don't get- EDP doesn't care what people think about you. Shut up! What? <laughs> well, it looks like we have a Cowboys fan sucking this motherfucker's dick. But let's not forget that these were the same Cowboys fans that were cheering on and making fun of Carson Wentz's torn. I'm really starting to think that maybe EDP fanboys have a hearing problem. I think y'all have, have sort of a, like, some sort of like hearing problem going on with your ears because apparently y'all don't like to listen at all. When and where did I state that I was a Cowboys fan? Show me the video. Show me the timestamp. I want to know. You clearly heard me say in that same video, fuck EDP 445, that I was a Bears fan since day one. Day one. There's a day and then there's a one. And I've been there since both of them. Day one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Here is my problem with Dak's injury. When Carson Wentz got injured, everyone made memes and talked about how injury prone he is. But when Dak gets injured, everybody's sucking his dick. That does not exclude the fact that the guy is a fucking piece of shit. There's a lot of bad apples when it comes to sports, but there's some Cowboys fans that can be a little dirty mouthy. There's some Eagles fans that can be a little dirty mouthed. But that does not exclude the fact that EDP is not is any better because he still made the video in the first place. Now he could now if he would have made a video attacking the Cowboys fans, okay, that would have been a whole different story. But he didn't, so that's why we're talking about this. And yet here you are, defending him like he's paying your bills, which I'm pretty sure he's not. But us, but still, you're only here defending him. And I bet you be that type of nigga to send him money as well. You probably be that same nigga in a comment session throwing him money like he's a damn stripper or somebody, just waiting to twerk for y'all.